Alright, welcome back here everybody. So it's been a while since I've made a YouTube video, but I'm going to do one today. And this will be a bit strange, I don't normally do any Pocket Edition Minecraft videos, but I'm going to be showing you how to make a Pocket Edition server. So in case you ever were wondering how to do it, it's actually pretty simple. You go to pocketmine.net, you click Get Pocket Mine MP, and it takes you over to uh, this page here. Now go to installing manually right here. Uh, bear in mind this is all for the Windows version. And you're gonna have to go downloads and then download uh, the actual software itself which will be found here. Right here and you can download just uh, this one here. So you just hit download and then you also need a couple other programs you'll need this one here and you'll need this one here so make sure you download both of those as well so for the PHP just make sure you download the Windows version it's all pretty straightforward I will add a link to all these downloads in the description so you can quickly just click those and it will download for you instead of going through all these steps Alright, so once you have all three downloads completed, which would be these three here, you need to create this start file. So this is the command that you need to put in there. So just create a text document and copy and paste this in there. It will all be in the description below. And make sure when you save it, you do save as, and then do start, or whatever you want to call it, run, or whatever, and then do dot ba. T. That is essential to making this work. So then you want to save it as that. I already have it, but I'll still replace it anyways. And we can close that all up. And uh, another thing I should point out, this right here must match this file name here. If it doesn't match, it's not going to work. Uh, so let's just close that. Let's double click the start. It's not running. We need to uh, forgot about this. We need to extract this. So let's just extract it, and that's the same file. So it doesn't really matter. Okay, now that that's extracted, we can get that out of the way. Now it should work if we hit run, and it had a little bit of an issue, but that might be fine. There you go. Still works. So now we must select our language, which will be English. So let's do, I think it's three characters, so it'll be just like that. And you must accept the license. And we will skip the setup wizard. And the server is currently running. So this, uh, this server I have running is not uh, port forward or anything. It's right now, it's currently a local server only. If you want it to be available to the public, you must port forward, and that's a whole nother story for another time, pretty much. The best bet is to look at what router you have or modem you have and Google how to port forward on that certain model. There's so many different ways to do it, I cannot possibly tell you how to port forward on your router or modem, so you must figure that out on your own. It's fairly straightforward. Just Google your router's... Uh, model number and add port forward in there somewhere in the Google search and you'll probably find something. Anyways, I am going to hop onto my phone and just verify that this is currently working. Alright, so I got my Minecraft booted up on my mobile device, which is an Android device if you are wondering. Let's hit play and under servers, scroll down and here I already added my server so that is what my settings currently look like you can see it's a local IP address so you have to find your own IP address and enter it in there you, mine probably won't work and there's a default port number so let's just close that and we should be able to connect And there we go. So we are currently in the Minecraft world that's running on my PC. 
you can see if you look at the terminal over here you can see Rio RPS 96 join the game I can do commands such as say hi and it pops up in game uh, I can also uh, give myself OP just like that now I'm OP and then I got all kinds of commands I can also do like like ban or kick the basic stuff like that there you go kick by admin that's fine Let's just hop back in. And there you go. Now I'm connecting. And I should be connected. There you go. I joined the game. So then we also can do ban. If I've been really bad, I can just ban myself because I'm just too much of a nuisance. Now I'm banned. I can also unban you kind of get the idea. Anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed this short video as to how to make a Pocket Edition server. If you have any questions, just comment them down below. I'll try to answer them best I can as I have time to do so. I'm currently really busy, but uh, I'm going to try to make time to make sure I can answer any questions that people have. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Catch you next time.